Courtney Cox is not afraid to admit it. She is a giant scaredy cat. I think I read that you said that you scare easily those and like you can't even walk alone. So how did you do something like this? I can't sleep in the house by myself. I will, I just am scared. But also I'm scared of ghost face and I know who's underneath that mask. <laughs> Certain ghost face is out on the street that I'm about to go on after this interview. But that didn't stop her from co-starring with Greg Kinnear in their new horror comedy series, Shining Veil. Vale. I don't know if she's a ghost, but she keeps popping up in my dreams. Although Greg didn't always make it easy for her on set. Greg scared me a lot on the set because he's just that kind of prankster guy. Courtney, look behind you right now. Look be, I'm not, no, I'm kidding. Courtney and Greg play a couple who are trying to save their marriage by moving to an old house in a small town where they're wrestling with personal demons and some real ones. In my dream, she burned me with a cigarette. Oh, Pat, hey, look. come on. Oh my God. Can you explain for our viewers, they're calling it a horror comedy, what is that? I mean, I would call it a dark comedy mystery. I mean, it definitely gives you absolute scares, but it to me is a dark comedy, because when I think of comedy horror, I think of Scream. It's a psychological thriller, dark comedy is how I would say. But it does deal with the supernatural. And so when, I, when I'm when i usually doing interviews that, that touch on this, I have to know, do you guys believe in it? Greg, Greg, oh, Greg raised an eyebrow. Greg, Greg? I don't believe in ghosts uh, or gnomes or fairies or elves. Uh, <laughs> and I feel like the odd man out because Courtney has fabulous stories of haunting all the time. She's got regular hauntings and I'm jealous, quite frankly. It's funny, when we started the show, we all got together. We had this great little bar backyard party uh, at our creators and we, everybody sat around, all these actors and, and crew and producers, writers, and everybody had an incredible story about um, a spirit or a poltergeist or some sort of thing. And I, I genuinely just, I just don't. Um, not that I'm in a hurry to make that happen, but <laughs> I, I actually, uh, I did feel a little like uh, amazed at how prevalent it is. And the more you talk to people, you realize it's out there. So the idea that this family is is a real family and and is is you know funny and in pain and hurting and going to, through all these things, but in the backdrop of this you know, thing that people can relate to is, um, it, it felt fresh. It's because you don't believe, Greg, that they haven't revealed themselves to you yet. Courtney, you said that you have stories. Can you just, can I just hear one? Well, I'm not gonna tell you the one that just happened the other night, because it's too oh. hard to describe, but it did happen. I'm in London and there are a lot of, I mean, who knows what this building that I'm sitting on, in right now was, bare, was built on. I mean, it could be anything, I'm gonna find yeah. out. Although Johnny's like, please don't find out. There is a quick story. I My house was supposedly haunted. I lived in Laurel Canyon at the top of it. And um, I was like, no, no, I wouldn't even know ghost. It was sitting next to me right now. And I kept hearing stories and hearing stories. And then one day I opened the door and there was a UPS guy or whatever. And he said, do you know that this house is haunted? And I go, I've heard so. Why? Why do you say that? He goes, because there's someone standing right behind oh. you. And I went, it's time to move. <laughs> Was scary. And so is Courtney and Greg's new series, Shining Veil. Vale. There's nothing wrong with this house. Premiering March 6th on Stars. Can't wait for everyone else to see it and Courtney stay safe. <laughs> That's just how I feel. Yes. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.